Now, if you're wondering where the panting is coming from... It's not me. We'd like to introduce you to the real stars of tonight's show, Buddy and Merlin. There they are. Yes, indeed. Forget Lassie. When trouble strikes, it's these two you need to come to the rescue. And they proved it when their owner, Peter Oates, fell and was left seriously injured when she was out, fell running near Chorley. That's Ray with them as well, by the way. Yeah, thank you for coming in and uh, hanging on to those dogs. Uh, luckily, um, Peter's two faithful running companions were with her, and Peter is here with Buddy and Merlin and Ray. Uh, Peter, first of all, describe how you were feeling when you fell. How bad was it? Um, when I first um, it hit the deck, I tried to get up straight away and just c c collapsed in a heap um, back on the spot where I, where I got knocked down. Um, and I quickly realised with the amount of pain that I'd done something serious to my leg. So one of the dogs stayed with you, which one was that? Buddy, the little Buddy one. Buddy stayed with you to yeah. look after you. Yeah. And what about Merlin? Well, I had to get down off the fell side, so um, I couldn't walk, I couldn't run. So I had to um, shuffle down on my bottom. Um, I, I was losing the light as well. It was about quarter to six. And it was really cold as well. It was, it was the end of uh, Storm Gareth. Yeah. So even though it was a really bright evening like it is tonight, it was really, really windy. Um, and it had put a lot of rain down on, on the fells as well and on the moors. So it was really wet and, and sort and of- And Merlin was obviously very worried about you. Yeah, he was. He, he, he disappeared actually. I'd, right. I'd shuffled down on, on my bottom for about, well, according to Garmin, it was 0 0.8 of a mile. Um, it took me an hour and a half, but um, and then just towards the end um, of the fell side, Merlin disappeared, um, and I was getting quite anxious about him because he he comes back to call really well. He's mm. really well trained, mm. and he just didn't come back. Um, and Buddy stayed with me and just started to bark continuously, um, to, so much so I asked him to stop barking because <laughs> it was right in my ear. But then eventually. Um, well, eventually, what what turned out to be the case was um, a dog walker who'd had a head torch on was walking his own dog, um, and Merlin had barked at him and made him stop. Wow. Um, and it, it, Merlin started to bark at Buddy, and that's why Buddy was was barking in my ear. How do you um, feel about that now, thinking about it, it now? It brings you shivers. It makes you sort of go a little bit sort of weird, <laughs> because essentially what they'd done was to tag team. And, right. and alert that. Because it's their instinct, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they were looking after me, both of them. Yeah, it still makes me really upset now. Yeah. How far do you run and, and walk with them on a, normally um, on a day to day? How, how far do you guys go? Well, we, we know they're very lively. We've seen them in the office <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, I went with Merlin because he's that bit older. We've, we've done sections of the uh, Lakeland 50. So he's, he's done 15, 20 miles on a recce run before now with his, with his good pal um, Badger. Um, he, he does all sorts of distances really, but because Buddy's so young, he's only doing short three miles. You know, he's not going that far yet. So you've got a real life lassie on your hands. Mm. Yeah, a pair of lassies. A, a pair of lassies. <laughs> How brilliant. And thank you so much for bringing them in. Yeah, and we wish you a speedy recovery as well. We wish thank you a speedy you. recovery as well, Peter. Thank you so much. And also, Ray, thank you. We thank didn't you. hear from you, but we know you were doing a good job there, keeping them <laughs> in control. That's a good job. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Well, well, you Merlin, I think. <laughs> okay.